Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. You know, every now and then, you'll hear this idiotic claim tossed about that Thomas Aquinas could be classified as a Protestant and maybe even a Reformed theologian. And you have to wonder, where in the world is this nonsense coming from? Well, this ludicrous claim was mainly propagated by John Gerstner, who died in 1996. Uh, John Gerstner's best-known student, a man named R.C. Sproul, who is the founder and also a chairman of Ligonier Ministries, also maintains this insane notion, as well as his now defrocked son, R.C. Sproul Jr. So, let's look at some quotes from Martin Luther, and let's just see what he thought about Thomas Aquinas. Let's see if he thought he was a Protestant or even Reformed. Now, all of these quotes come from Luther's Table Talk, which is a collection of sayings by Luther written down by his students and put into one volume. The first quote has Luther blaming Thomas Aquinas for the creation of the heretical doctrine known as transubstantiation. Luther says, and I quote, In the sacrament of the altar, Thomas invented transubstantiation. I think that the bread and the wine remain, just as the water remains in baptism, and just as the human voice remains when I preach. End quote. Taken from Table Talk, recorded by Dietrich, number 96. Well, it doesn't sound like Luther thinks Aquinas is very reformed right there, does it? I mean, transubstantiation is a heresy. I don't think it would be safe to call someone who believes in transubstantiation a Protestant. Well, John Calvin also rejected Thomas Aquinas. In fact, in the Institutes of the Christian Religion, Calvin comes right out and attacks Aquinas' heretical view of predestination. Calvin writes, Nor let us be detained by the subtlety of Thomas, that the foreknowledge of merit is the cause of predestination, not indeed in respect of the predestinating act, but that on our part it may in some sense be called, namely, in respect of the particular estimate of predestination, as when it is said that God predestinates man to glory according to his merit inasmuch as he decreed to bestow upon him the grace by which he merits glory. For while the Lord would have us to see nothing more in election than his mere goodness, for any one to desire to see more is preposterous affection. But were we to make a trial of subtlety, it would not be difficult to refute the sophistry of Thomas. He maintains that the elect are in a manner predestinated to glory on account of their merits, because God predestines to give them the grace by which their merit glory. End quote. The Institutes of the Christian Religion, Book 3, Chapter 22, Section 9. So we see clearly that John Calvin rejects Thomas Aquinas because Aquinas teaches that God's predestination is based on human merit, and that's not biblical, that's flat heresy. Well, there you have it. The theology of Thomas Aquinas was rejected by both Martin Luther and John Calvin. Aquinas' theology is not Protestant, and it's certainly not Reformed.